So also at Salon Privé this year, we have some of our old girls on display. And that's something that I love to see when visiting Concours events. Some of the fantastic cars that we've sold in the past that are being shown in the Concours or just purely on display. Um, this particular car is very special to me. This McLaren F1 chassis 14R. This is a car that I sold the current owner about 10 years ago. It was the Japanese championship winner. It's a car that I had known for probably 10 or 11 years. I used to see the car most weeks, dream about one day buying it, and then the opportunity uh, arose one day and I sold it to the current owner, which is Mr. Adrian Newey, the chief designer of Red Bull Formula One. It's a fantastic car. It was a car that was the, f I believe, the first F1 to ever be road converted. Um, it, was, uh, it was a car that, as I say, won the Japanese championship. Uh, it was a car that was decided to be painted in McLaren orange. And it was used regular. It's a car that went down to the Monaco Grand Prix and was owned by a very good friend and a very good client of ours who actually owned um, something like four F1s in total. And at one time he owned uh, 14R and chassis 59, which we also eventually ended up buying. This Ferrari 275 GTS is another car that we know particularly well. Chassis 7153. It's a car that we've sold twice in the past and most recently to the current owner about two and a half, three years ago. It really is a great car. It's in its original color combination. It's a car that has never been totally nut and bolt restored, but just a really nice, genuine, full matching numbers car. And I'm so pleased to see it in the event today. And I have to say it looks particularly sharp if it's won any awards, but it definitely deserves one. So we've walked onto another dealer's stand who's also exhibiting at Salon Privé, Furlonger Specialist Cars, who have another one of our old girls here at the show. This particular car, this 599 Speciale Aperta, is a car that we've sold twice before. It's a car that I'm really fond of, actually. If you go onto our website and look at previously sold and scroll down and find it, you'll see the photos that we managed to take of this car when we had it in stock was unbelievably good. Um, and this is a really special car. It's one of the right-hand drive cars. There were only 80 Apertas ever produced. We sold the car twice in the past, I think, Furlongers are currently asking about one and a half million for it or one million four hundred and fifty thousand. So a really good car. I don't like to promote cars on other dealers stands. However, we're always fond of our old girls and hopefully one day we will get her back. So we're now in the center circle of Salon Privé with some very special cars that they have on display. And even though none of these cars are any of our old girls, they're cars that we do have little bits of relationships with and they're cars that are particularly special and I want to give you some brief history on a few of them as I think they deserve it. This particular car, this 8C2300 Zagato Spider, is just an unbelievably special car, an important part of history. Um, from memory, I believe it was the Nuvolari Millimilio winning car. Uh, this is a car that did belong to a friend of mine for about 30 years and it was the first 8C that I ever had the opportunity to drive. And I was driving it through the streets of Harrogate and for him to trust me with these, I don't know, 25, 30 million dollar car was pretty special. And then moving on, this car we know particularly well. We've tried to buy it uh, a couple of, on a couple of occasions in the past. Uh, this is one of the short nose 7000 series GTBCs. Uh, you may recall that we sold a sister car to this chassis 7545 uh, last year. This has been through a huge restoration. It's been restored a couple of times in its life. I have to say the most recent restoration that we're looking at now is near on perfect. I think they've done an absolute fantastic job and you never know, it might be a car that we might get the opportunity to purchase, have another go at trying to purchase it once again. Uh, we have some great Maserati sports racing cars, cars that we know particularly well. We've sold several of those. Uh, Pagani Waira. 
We have a great McLaren F1 here, chassis 28, I believe from memory. Um, one of the few cars painted in red from new. Uh, I believe it was owned from, I think it was Michael Andretti, it's a car uh, from new. A really nice car, you'll probably see a lot, it a lot on Instagram. And I have to say, I don't think photos on Instagram or social media do this car justice. When you see it in the flesh, it, it really is a stunning car and I think it really suits red. And I think that was very similar actually to the yellow McLaren F1 we sold a few years ago. In the flesh, that car was absolutely gorgeous, breathtaking, and I'm not sure it, it looked quite as good in photos. And I think this car is very similar to that. Um, we then move on to a car that I really like and really fond of. I was very close to purchasing this car um, earlier on this year, which is a Zonda F. Super disappointed that we didn't buy the car. It was a single owner car from new and only covered about 3,000 miles. The only pleasing thing is that it has gone to a very good friend and a very good client of ours. And I've just about got him in a headlock at the moment, trying to convince him to sell it to us, although he's adamant that he is never going to sell it, but you never know. And we're then going to end by something that's super special. This is a Series 2 Ferrari 250 GTO. A Ferrari 250 GTO is the jewel in the crown of any Ferrari collection. And you know, you instantly gravitate towards the Series 1s because they're the cars that are probably the most iconic. They're the cars that when you close your eyes and you think of a 250 GTO, you instantly think of a Series 1. But these Series 2 cars were super special, much quicker than the Series 1. Um, they're all slightly different. The roofs on them, some of them have a shorter roof, some of them have a longer roof. This is a really good car, great history. Um, great provenance and very original. I have to say Salon Privé have done a fantastic job just in this circle alone with the cars they've, they've managed to get. One car we definitely need to finish with is the 166 Barquetta. Double Le Mans winner, which is very special. The first Ferrari to ever win Le Mans with Luigi Cagnetti, who from memory I believe he drove something like 23 of the 24 hours himself. Uh, a very special car, absolute piece of Ferrari history. It's, I'm not sure if I, I'm gonna go as far to say it's the Holy Grail, but it is super special and uh, deserves to be in the pole position.